Prime Minister Modi right there. He's uh, at the accident site and right above him it is uh, the Oriva branding that has been covered up before his arrival. The first up visuals coming on India today of Prime Minister Narendra Modi at the accident site. Uh, also we want to know what he has to say about this. At the moment he's taking stock of the situation uh, and questions still emerge as to uh, why is it that the Oriva owner who inaugurated the bridge uh, and whose company renovated the bridge is not amongst the ones who's arrested. Why is he absconding? Why is it that the Gujarat police has not been able to trace where the Oriva owner is? Uh, amongst the nine who have been arrested, they are just the lowest hanging fruits. Two ticket clerks, two managers employed by Oriva. But what about the big guns? What about the uh, main owner? And there you go, the live visuals coming in of Prime Minister Modi having a chat with the local officials right there. Uh, he's being flanked uh, by a few officials. Um, he's having a chat with them, taking a look at the accident site as well, taking stock of the situation. Someone right there, uh, people right there uh, explaining to him what really happened. The Prime Minister taking a look at what really happened right there as far as the bridge collapse is concerned. And this begs the big question, where is the owner of Oriva? Where is he? Why is he not arrested? Why is it that the Gujarat police has not traced the owner of Oriva? Who is protecting the owner of Oriva? Why is there zero accountability when it comes to the company that got the contract to renovate this uh, bridge? The Amadmi Party and the Congress Party continue to ask the questions as they must, as an opposition must, to the ruling party. Uh, the Prime Minister is taking stock of the situation and the hopes are that... All right, uh, Ashutosh is joining us uh, for the latest on this. Ashutosh, uh, we can see the Prime Minister right there. He has already started taking stock of the situation. What's going on? Well, uh, I see the uh, Home Minister of State, uh, Harsha Sangvi, is briefing the Prime Minister about the bridge. And uh, very interestingly, uh, the Chief Minister of Gujarat is standing behind and uh, he's not talking. It is, and then also I see BJP President of Gujarat, uh, C.R. Patel also. It is only the uh, young Home Minister of uh, Gujarat, of State, uh, Harsha Sangvi, is briefing the Prime Minister. And that looks like he's talking about the length of this bridge and also the structure and uh, looks like because the, uh, where he's indicating that's where the construction of uh, Swaminarayan temple is being done and uh, if I could read his body language then he's uh, talking about this is how how the situation unfolded how the wires were snapped and just like visit over Prime Minister is leaving the spot and uh, he apprised him about this uh, position about this bridge and about uh, this construction material. Now he's just going to just another side uh, because he's also briefing about the structure, this uh, iconic historic palace. I would ask my cameraman Sanjay Kumar to go to other side uh, where uh, the Home Minister is briefing to the Prime Minister and uh, we bring you the live images. Uh, that's where the gate and that's exactly where I entered to uh, that uh, point to see about where the cables were snapped. In fact, these are uh, the, uh, you know, the hangings uh, platform is actually one way to reach uh, for uh, the access uh, to this uh, suspension bridge and this is accessible for the people once you and uh, there you see the home minister and once uh, you uh, arrive at uh, Oreva's uh, gate entrance gate you buy a ticket and then uh, you enter uh, to this spot. So it's uh, around uh, 50 meters, 50, 75 meters of walking to a uh, hanging platform, which is supported by this uh, historic uh, palace wall. And by crossing that, and again, at a time, more than two person cannot walk. Hence, the questions being asked why the crowd was not managed, why so much, uh, uh, you know, footfall was allowed to reach here. And that looks like one of the expert, perhaps, uh, could be a civil engineer or someone uh, from the government authorities, they are briefing about this uh, structure, the way he's narrating about the structure looks like uh, the Prime Minister himself is asking various questions to uh, the officer. There's also presence of the Chief Minister, the BJP State President, the 
Home Minister, and there is a conversation that is happening between the official and the Prime Minister about uh, what would have possibly gone wrong. And as we know, the structure is mostly about uh, that it could it could not take uh, weight of the number of persons were on the bridge on uh, that late evening at 6:30 p.m. This uh, tragedy unfolded after the wires were snapped from their pocket. And now the Prime Minister seems entering back to the palace and the gate where he's entering the palace, right entering after the gate, some 15 meters, uh, we have a connection to that uh, mega cables, the heavy iron cables.